All right, guys. Welcome back to the channel. If you saw the video or my little teaser on YouTube or on Facebook, I have a cooler. Uh, it's an Igloo 60 core cooler. Uh, I chose this one particularly for this project. And the nice people at Sidebar Systems sent me out this system. Now, when I was doing the kegerator uh, video, which I'll link above here if you want to check it out, it's like a five part series. I saw this system on Kegworks website. Um, it's a sidebar. It, what it is, is it's actually a liquor dispensing system. It comes a little plastic thing. And it's a whole setup, looks like this. So what it is, is all the hoses connect to these. And then the hoses here are bottle toppers. So they go in your liquor bottles and then they connect into here. And then on here, is the hose lines and those connect out to a faucet which goes on right here which is this little guy right here so there'll be a faucet that's going to mount right here on the cooler and then you drill a hole through the cooler and mount that and then this system's actually I'm, i want to mount it right inside of here and then what i bought is a little trailer battery Let's see if i can get this open there's a little holder for it too but all it is is a little 12 volt trailer battery. Um, it says it only needs at least 12 volts, five amp. So I pulled this with the smallest battery I could find. Um, I'm not sure if it will work or not. We're gonna try it out. This is a testing thing. But my idea is to get this whole thing inside of here and a dispenser right here and then fill this with ice and I'll have a liquor dispenser on wheels pretty much is what it comes down to and then i can just trickle charge the battery whenever it gets low assuming it has enough power i can get a bigger battery too if i need to i just was trying to make it more compact so what we're going to do is um it's pretty simple and straightforward there's mounting here so we're going to screw i have regular screws or so stainless screws i'm hoping it's strong enough to hold this up here i might have to get some kind of anchors um, i haven't even test fit this yet um, the only thing I am doing is I cut some vinyl. Uh, let me show you the vinyl pieces here. So I have just vinyl trim. This is like PVC trim for outdoors. And I cut some pieces of this as dividers in here that I'm just going to bracket in with some galvanized brackets. And that'll hold the liquor bottles because there's going to be five bottles inside here. I'm actually doing three liquors and two mixers. As long as it's non-carbonated, it can pump through. This is just a little pump system. And then it actually has controls in here to control how, what's your amount. If you wanted to come out in shots, like one ounce, two ounce, or just the full press, you just press the button and it'll dispense whatever you want. So it's made to run on 12 volt battery. So that's why we're doing this whole setup the way it is. So they were nice enough to send me this out. Great people that I talked to at Sidebar. I'll leave them below their website and you can check out. They have a couple different systems. They have a regular spout system. If you want to mount it, like say on top of this cooler, you could mount it right in here and it's the same thing. It just has a little hose spout on it. Um, I chose to do this one. This is actually their demo model that they had. I want to mount it right over the igloo on this and then it'll be just high enough where everything will be right inside of here and there'll still be room for ice inside here because I want to obviously be able to fill the drinks with ice and then dispense whether it be vodka and something else mixer wise right out of this. Or in this case, I picked up a Jose Cuervo margarita mix. So it's pre-made. So literally all you gotta do is just get ice in a cup and then you can dispense margarita mix into it. And the, the idea is the ice will also keep the bottle somewhat cold inside here. So you'll have cold ice and cold drinks. So let me get started. Uh, we're unboxing this. Like I said, we got the pump system that I think I have an idea how I want it all set up in here where it'll fit. These are the bottle topping tubes. And this is the regular feed tube line. So this connects up to that pump. And then what you do is feed these tubes out through this opening that you would drill for this connector. And then you just cut them uh, flush with the system. So let's get everything unboxed here. And then what I'll do is show you how I go here as we go along the way. Okay, so they got little mounts here for the hose and everything. It's kind of nice. You got all kinds of stuff in here. Oh, a nice gasket for the system to mount on the face. All right, so let me get this out of here and we'll get started. All right, so first off, I'm gonna build the uh, 
little vinyl unit here for holding the bottles in place at the bottom. Uh, it's just Craig screws and some clamps. And uh, it's this whole piece of wood stuff is made out of PVC, so it's not even wood based, so it's perfect for the wet bottom here at the cooler. So that was pretty simple. Now I'm going to cut out the unit's uh, um, decal here. And what it is is a little template to do your little pilot holes in here and figure out where it's going to lay out on the front of the cooler. So I'm just marking that off. And then I'm going to take some little pilot holes here, and that'll set up where I need to drill. And then what I have is a 5 8 I think it was a 5 8 bit to get the control wire through. And then I have an inch, and I think it was an inch and a half or inch and 5 8 bit, whatever the direction said. And that's to fit the tubing through uh, into the back of that unit, as you'll see in the, in the future here. Uh, once I get that done, then all I got to do is I had to clean out the inside of the cooler. Uh, obviously, there's a whole bunch of debris in there. And then this is the unit here and a little face piece that goes on it that the hoses go through and then a little gasket that it comes with um, which actually works out nice because once you tighten it down to the front of the unit it makes it kind of weather tight in there here I'm trimming the hoses there's five hoses they're five little uh, uh, eighth inch or quarter inch hoses and I just vacuumed out the inside to get it nice and clean I'm feeding the hoses through from the back side and then you have to wiggle them into the head unit uh, they're pretty snug in there, and then you can pull them through the rest of the way. You just got to make sure you get all five of them through there. And now I'm feeding the control wire in uh, through that 5 8 hole and lining everything up with the gasket. And then what I can do is I can take the screws that it comes with, and I'm going to hand tighten those in so that I don't over tighten them. And then lining up that gasket as I go here, I'm just making sure it's nice and snug. Then I can snap that little head on there. It's just got like a two prong thing snaps in there. You want to make sure you got a little extra hose coming out of there so that you can trim it later. Here I'm fitting the control unit. Uh, line it up on the side there right where I want it and then I just put a couple pilot holes in there. Like I said before, uh, it took a little just to figure out where I want to put everything. Um, but this was just test fitting the unit and then I pulled it back out so I could get the, uh, the battery pack in there because the battery pack had to go in first. The unit actually had little slide-on screw setups, so you can slide it in there. Uh, so I had to take that back out to get the battery in because that just screws into the wall and it's not adjustable. So I lined that up, drilled a couple pilot holes, and then I mounted in there with the uh, screwdriver again so I didn't over tighten it. So everything just tightened in there with some stainless screws. So once that's in there, I can slide that unit, the control unit back in, and then it just locks down by pushing down on it. And then I have the five hoses that uh, connect into the head unit. I just tape those. I'm wrapping the control tape uh, unit and I just put a little bracket to hold the hoses in place. And then I snap that thing. It's just a little telephone type head just snaps in there. And now I'm just securing all the wires and getting them tucked in there in a nice spot where they're out of the way. Now I'm going to slide in that cross brace which just slides down there and pushes down. I was originally going to brace it in there, but it didn't even need it. It was nice and snug and it's not going to move anywhere with those four directions. Now I'm just loading the bottles in in the uh, way I wanted them to be in there so that it was nice and tight fitting and they're not wobbling around in there. And then what I can do is get the hoses. Those are little bottle topper hoses that go in the bottles. So I stuff those in there and then those will just get clipped in. They're just push fittings, as you can see in the picture there. You just push those hoses in, so it's pretty simple. Uh, now I'm just zip tying and twisting on some uh, little connector heads that have to go on the battery terminals. So I can plug that in, and then it's just a little DC plug that connects into the actual unit. And then I can tuck all the wire into that little battery box, so that worked out pretty good. And now I'm just trimming off the excess here hose so it's flush. And then you can see the unit's on right there so it has power. And now I'm testing it by just running some water through it to make sure the pump system's working. And uh, it worked great. Now I can close everything up and make sure it's all nice and tight and snug. You can see the bottles, uh, toppers in there. I think I have one hose hooked up there just to the water. And then, like I said, the rest of them just push on there. So pretty cool and then there's a little adjustment knobs on there for the amounts that you might want to add and then right where there is where the ice all right we did it uh everything seems to be functioning i have the battery in here 
uh, the panel turns on I can flow liquid through each one of these uh, they do give you a cool uh, sticker pack that comes with it that gives you all the different liquors and mixers so that's kind of a cool addition I want to give a shout out to sidebar for sponsoring me on this and sending out this unit so I could try it out I reached out to him I told him I wanted to try to make a cooler like this uh, and then I found this 60 quart cooler and I knew height wise it would work good for all the bottles and everything to sit in here and I just needed just enough space to put some ice in here so I think I'll be able to still slide some ice and maybe a 10 pound bag in here so I can scoop the cups out of that so that'll work good other than that everything works good the battery packs right here uh, it sits right up in here all the wiring is in there um, the only thing I have to do is once I get all these hoses connected to the bottles I'm going to reroute this so everything's out of the way but right now I just have it taped up with electrical tape and just tucked back in here I still have to adjust the uh, quantities these all these little switches adjust the quantities you can do one ounce two ounce shots you know whatever you want to do so with the fireball I'll probably do uh, you know shot quantity on that one and I'll probably put the fireball bottle down in the bottom so it's nice and icy down there other than that uh, I don't want water to get up in these units that's why I put them up high so I got a good 10 inches of clearance underneath there so I can fill this thing up pretty good with ice and it won't touch any of the vitals in there so that's kind of cool and that was the whole intention is to get it up near the top but you can see this all lights up um, yeah I tried it out I ran some water through each of them to to get it all siphoned in and it seems to be working good so I'm glad you guys checked this out. I'm going to take it out on either a tailgate or a party this weekend and see how she works. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to put in it yet, but I'm thinking like vodka, rum, maybe some mixers and some fireball or something like that. But we'll see how it goes. But yeah, this was a, this was a fun one. If you want to check out my other kegerator video, that was a fun one. It's like a five-part series on uh, how to build a little kegerator out of a freezer. That was a cool one. I'll, I'll link some other videos. And I'll leave the uh, links to all these parts in the description i mean there's only the battery and the holder the whole pump system and then some vinyl you know i got the pvc board from lowe's and then the cooler was actually a special at walmart for 34.88 so that was a pretty good deal so all in all you're looking at um probably 550 if you buy the system and everything to make this little rolling cooler um the only thing i don't know is the battery is a 12 volt 5 amp hour little trailer battery I don't know how long it's going to last. Um, this thing, I don't know how much it draws, but it says it needs at least 5 amps. So I made sure to get a battery, um, but I wanted obviously the smallest battery I could get in here. You can buy a little bit bigger battery that I think will fit in this box. So we'll have to see how that is. I figured worst case scenario, I can just trickle charge it once in a while. It's easy enough to pop this and just take the battery out. So that's not a big deal. I'm not really worried about it. That's why I'm going to test it out, and I'll keep you updated in the comments as far as how long this thing lasts before i have to trickle charge it i can test it with my little battery tester but that's it i'm going to throw some ice in this thing i'm going to finish connecting up these bottles and uh, i'll catch you in the next video make sure you subscribe like this video if you think it's cool or if you like it however it is but i'll i'll see you guys soon take care